Shaka's a little crafty friends. It's Maka from Maka's Home. I'm back today to share with you one of the classes I took at the um, Stamp and Scrapbook Expo that was here in Mesa, Arizona last weekend. Um, it was a crafty Meraki class. Um, what was the name? Hmm. I don't remember what the name was, but in the class, it had something to do with uh, foiling and tips and um, blending and things like that. But in the class, we received uh, a die set as well as a stencil set. And there are five stencils to the set. And then here is the die set that we received. And that is um, the dye that it makes. It's a lavender whimsy. And so in the class, we uh, colored it. We used the stencil to color it. And then, um, so now I just need to cut it out. She also went over. So I'm going to cut it out. She also went over some um, what did she do? Some gold foiling with the glimmer hot plate. And I bought one of those at the uh, at the festival, I mean at the um, expo, so stay tuned for my expo haul. I'll be sharing that there. I haven't used it since I got home, but um, I'm still trying to put stuff away. So, so I'm going to cut this out and I will be back. Okay, so here is my cutout. I also took the liberty of cutting two more out. And I will show you why here in a minute. I might just use two, but I might use all three. So... We also received an acetate piece that we foiled on with the Glimmer Hot Plate. And um, one tip you might not know is when foiling on acetate, you have two options, yeah? You have the, the foil option, which this one was a holographic. You can see the holographic. And then you have the underside that just has the silver option. So if you just wanted a silver, you could use this side. If you wanted it to be the holographic, you could use this side. So I'm going to choose the holographic. I'm going to score it here to make an A2 card, I believe. It's an A2 size card, but um, I'm going to score it and I will be right back. Okay, I had to burnish it very well so let's see my die will sit on here oh I still have some of my tape from die cutting it on the die let me get that off <laughs> okay and then I'll have to pick a sentiment which I have a bunch to choose from that I have laying around so I'll just get one of those but yeah so this was going to complete the card. She also suggested, um, you know, if you didn't want to see that, to cut an extra piece and glue it exactly so you don't see that. And then you can glue it here on the bottom as well. So you have a place to write your sentiment. So I kind of like the pattern, so I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to glue the one down here so that um, you'd be able to write a sentiment. And that is my acetate card. So let me get that glued down and I will be right back. Okay. So I'm back. I've got it all glued down. I've added my sentiment. Um, I feel like I need to burnish this more but because it doesn't go flat. But here it is. 
and then on the inside I added happy birthday up there and then I added this so you can write a sentiment and that's the back now after this glue dries if I can still see the lines I don't know if you can if the camera's picking it up but if I can still see that I'm gonna use that extra piece to um, cover it and then uh, just call it good but that was my class from crafty Meraki and that was one of the tips about the um, foil the heat foil you can use both sides to get two different colors if you wanted and there you go so hopefully you guys found that inspirational you learned something um, for more videos like these see here and until my next video shakas